am here to explain to you about 50 more products from the high-end category that we're going to be reviewing today. And I have so many products here that I think everyone really truly wants to know the truth about. So, let's dive on me. So, I, I purchased this uh, like a week ago. It's called Dermatologica Ultra Calming Mist. And it's not really like a setting spray, but it's like something you can spray on your face during the day if you're having too much redness or your skin's frying. You can put this on. I usually put this on like if I'm not going to wear makeup because it gets rid of my redness. So, this thing. Now, let's talk about dislikes first because I have some beef with some of these products. <laughs> Burberry. BB Cream is the most product I've ever bought. I spent so much money on this. I'm like, oh, Burberry, I'm so fancy now. But no, it does not fucking perform. Like, I put it on my skin, it's so sticky. I'm like, and then it doesn't have any color payoff. It's absolutely horrible product. Do not go waste your money on this. I don't even know how much I spent on this, but I'm pretty sure I spent a lot. It feels like something I probably shouldn't talk about on camera. Don't get this. So, that one's on my list. So, I also have some other ones that are on my list, and that's the Urban Decay All Nighter. But don't get it twisted because I love the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Love this jizz. Put it on your face. Love it. Use it. It's awesome. But as far as the foundation, it's too full coverage. Now, if you like full coverage, maybe you'll like this. But I don't like full coverage. I just have a little bit of redness in my T-zone area. So I don't need full coverage. Full coverage foundations put too much texture on my skin. And I look insane. I look like a skelly lizard. Yeah, this product right here, awesome if you like full coverage and you don't have dry skin. But I have combination skin. This does not work for me. It's on my list. And then I also have the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. When I first got this, I didn't like it. Still don't like it. Like, who made this? Like Lady Gaga? Was this like her line? I love Lady Gaga. But I don't like this foundation. It's horrible. Like, everyone's talking about it. Oh, it's the best thing that ever happened to my life. No, no, no. It's supposed to be like a second skin, but honestly it puts way too much texture on my face. Like, it didn't work for me. If it works for you, then girl, you keep using it, but ugh, didn't work for me. Let me show you my favorite foundation. Which is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. I love this. Like, honestly, out of all the foundations that I've tried in my life, which is over a thousand foundations, this is the only one that performs the way that I need it to perform. It looks like that second skin, and it has a lot of coverage, but it looks like second skin, and it's like a water um, foundation. It has SPF 15 sunscreen in it, so, you know, that's a plus, but who really cares about that part because I never have. Um, as long as it looks good on my skin. So this is my favorite, favorite foundation. I recommend this to everybody. It's just the best. I also have the Clinique Super Balance Makeup Tint. I've never liked Clinique. That's what old people use. Sorry. But you know, sorry. If for the old people who watch my channel, you know you probably use this. Like, it just don't work for me. It's it's really liquidy and it doesn't have like a regular undertone it has like this pinky mole rat undertone like if it works for you then you use it but and i also have the mark jacobs genius gel i hate this jizz i mean i know it looks pretty empty but that was because it was my first foundation i was like i spent a pretty penny on this so i'm going to use it till it dies so that's what I did. It's going to break up on your face after only four or five hours. It's a disgusting mess no matter how much you you set your face with setting powder, bake it, put yourself in the oven. It doesn't work. This is a for me. Now let's talk about my favorite is holy grail. I would die without this product. Shrivel into a ball and just die. What this does is it intensifies any color you have. So let's say you spray this on a brush, apply your eyeshadow, 10 times more intense. Same thing for highlighters. 
But what I love to use this for is before I put on my foundation, kind of as like a tacky primer, and also after I powder. You get this stuff, you spray it on, like douse your face, like literally make your face wet with this. And it's going to melt all the makeup together and you're going to look so natural, like it melts it into the skin. This is the best thing that ever happened to any woman ever in life. Please promise me that you guys are going to go out and get this and try it. Like, honestly, it, it is the best, my best friend. As far as this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil, I would request this to people who have dry skin. Don't use this if you have oily skin. You're just going to look like a big crispy chicken afterwards. This primer is empty because it was my first primer and I'm like, dude, I sprayed a pretty penny on this. Like, I'm gonna use it till it dies, like the other one. So I really kind of like this. Now that I've found the Smashbox Photo Finish, this one is now my currently favorite primer. Like, if I had to tell you to go out and get any primer, it would be this primer right here. It's my number one go-to um, primer. So, bye. And then I also have the Smashbox Studio Skin to go with it. This product really fills in your pores. You put it on and you absolutely have studio skin like it says you're going to have. And it lasts 15 hours. It's hydrating, so it's really good for dry skin. My big problem with this foundation is it shows texture. Like I cannot stand to put on a foundation and look like a skelly alien freaking weirdo. Like I just don't. So I would say before using this product, if you're dry skin, use the primer oil with it. These two together are like the perfect combo. We still have a lot more products to put dab on in. I also have the shape tape. Everybody was talking about this. If you're going to use concealer and you're like a concealer junkie, then the shard, the shard, <laughs> the <laughs> tart shape tape. It's the best thing for you. It's going to look fantastic on the skin. It doesn't crease as much as other concealers. The most important thing about this is look up while you're doing putting it in and patting it in. And then before you look down, powder your eyes so you don't get those creases underneath your eyes. So, get this. I also have this Studio Skin 24 Hour from Smashbox. As you can see, I have a lot of Smashbox products because they're just really good. I like to use this to cream contour and you're like, oh my, and it looks like doo-doo. Why would you put that on your face? It's a waterproof concealer, lasts 24 hours is what they say. I do find that when I use these products, I can wear them for a good eight hours without them turning to Who doesn't want to go in the pool and get out and still look good, you know? We have the Bare Minerals Matte. This is my favorite. This is the best. This is the best liquid. This is the best powder. This is the Bare Minerals Matte. I have it on my face right now. My skin looks flawless. There's no texture, nothing. And moving on. So this is the MAC Paint Pot in the color Soft Okra. Everyone uses this to prime their eyelids. That's what I did. Like, it makes those colors really pop. If you're going to get an eyeshadow primer, use this. And honestly, out of all the concealers I have, this is the best one to use for concealer. I don't know why anybody never talks about this. This can be a concealer and no one talks about it. I have used it for like the past two weeks under my eyes. I have no creasing and it's a perfect concealer. If you want a concealer that's going to last all day and it's not going to crease, you just use this. Just use it. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation. I went into the store and I was looking for a full coverage powder. Little old me, being stupid like I am, didn't realize it said naked skin, which obviously means that it's not going to show up. This shit is pretty much translucent. And the funny thing about it is I tried to use it as a, as a setting powder, and it was dark. I'm like, wait, this makes no sense. It don't show up on bare skin, but it's showing up really dark on my makeup. I, I just don't like that I thought that it was going to be full coverage because I'm slow. But um, I do like this to set my foundation. It looks really natural. Now I want to talk about a concealer that is my favorite concealer. This is the Bare Mineral Stroke of Light. It's like a highlighter under the eye concealer. 
What it is, is it's just like a concealer that you can still see your skin through it. So it looks really natural, but it's like a highlight. Like it makes your under eyes stick out. Like it's gonna look really, really good. Like I don't think stick out is the word I should be saying. If I was to recommend out of these two, which product to use. If you like full coverage, go this way. If you don't need full coverage, you don't have problematic skin, get this one because this one's honestly my favorite because I don't need full coverage because it just tex texturizes your skin too much. But let's talk about something else. This is the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Press Powder. I hate this stuff. Who would make this? Like, it gives you horrible flashback, not to mention the fact that it just it looks like it on your skin. It looks like you just put baby powder on your face. Like bad, 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 bad. Now everyone loves the Laura Mercier setting powder. I used this for two years. I really was liking it a lot with the Max Fix Fix Plus, you know, to bake my face or whatever. But now I have found the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. So I bake with this now instead of this. Honestly. I would choose this one but that's because I have dry skin and this not only primes you but it makes you poreless. <laughs> this is the gist, like you, you need this. And then I also have this Besame Translucent Brightening Vanilla Rose Powder. Now it's just like this pink translucent powder. I think it smells like good. It's like a little lady, you know? This is what I use when I'm not going to wear makeup um, because it gets rid of your redness that's what it's for. It's like brightening. I put it underneath my eyes. I put it in my T-zone and then I um, spray the Dermatologica and then also the MAC Fix Plus spray and you can't tell I have powder on my face and there's no redness. My skin looks perfected. <laughs> to the primers. But I have one more concealer and this is the concealer right here. It's called the um, Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof 12 Hour Concealer. This is cakey as I will never ever use this on my face. It's really cakey. It creases like no other thing in the world. And you know, if you're gonna get a, a drugstore concealer, get the Maybelline Fit Me or the Maybelline Under Eye Corrector thing. Now I wanna talk about my newest favorite primer, which is the Too Faced RX. This is honestly, if you have dry skin, this is about to be your hero. It's just like this really nice lotion. Like it's like a lotion and it really hydrates. Like everyone has talked about this product and how good it is. It gives you that fresh hydrated look. The Professional by Benefit, I used to really like this stuff back in the day until I found my Smashbox um, and Too Faced primers. What this is going to do, you take a little bit, you just tap it into your pores. You don't want to swipe. You're going to tap it in until it's all blended in and it's closing off your pores. If you have a lot of pores, this is going to be the best thing for you to get. It's, it's oil free, it's lightweight, it's translucent, feels silky on the skin. As far as this one, <laughs> I like this product. As we talked about in the other videos, I have the Tarte Brightest Day and the Max Strobe Cream. I'm not gonna get too much into these, but they're just lightweight things that you mix in with your foundation or wear alone to just give you that very luminous glow. Now that I will talk about the makeup forever, this is dirty as hell because I use it to death. Before I found the Hangover RX by Too Faced. So before I found this holy grail, I was using this. It's from Makeup Forever and it's pretty much just a lotion to hydrate. I really like it. This is the Do The Hula Bronzer by Benefit. I really just don't get the concept of this. It's not dark. It just look, looks like a little turd. I don't know if this is something you're supposed to be cream contouring with or if this is something you rub all over your whole face. But all I know is either way, I just don't like the product. It's not worth the money. Like, just bronze your skin. It's not worth the money. Just, uh -uh. bad product. I had so many products to talk about. I'm just going to go through one more time and show you guys what products I think are worth buying. We have the Smashbox Photo Finish Prime Oil. The Smashbox Studio Skin Oil, the Tarte by the Sea Collection, Rainforest of the Sea, the Bare Minerals Matte Powder. I also recommend the <clears throat> Too Faced Primed and Poreless, and the Laura Mercier Powder for people who um, don't have dry skin. I also recommend the Mac 
paint pot, which I'm telling you guys these things because I think these are products, if you have the same kind of skin type as me, that you should honestly run to the store right now and buy because they're just going to, instead of keep spending money on products that don't work go get you something that you actually know for a fact is going to work for you and those are these products so this is the mac paint pot and soft ochre and then we also have the urban decay setting spray and the mac fix plus we have the tart shape tape and the bare mineral stroke of light and the professional by benefit and the Hangover RX by Too Faced and the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Concealer. Those are my number ones. Those are the ones that I think that if you have my same skin type that you should go get and stop wasting your money on products that are not going to work for you. Just go ahead and splurge a little bit and get products that I'm telling you that I know work. And a lot of other fellow YouTubers are going to tell you that these products are really high quality and you know they're not even that that expensive like all of these items are less than fifty dollars all of them well not together but you know what i mean and sit, hit the subscribe button down below if you would like to see more of me and also hit the bell button down below